The game is focused on personal relationships, but we cannot forget that survival is also a priority here. This game is not easy and pleasant, especially at the higher levels of difficulty. The characters are stuck in the middle of Siberia, where weather conditions, flora and fauna are extreme. So while waiting for help, the heroes have to face many challenges. The Siberian weather is merciless. It can change radically in short periods of time. A sunny day can quickly escalate into a freezing blizzard that will kill you in hours. But the weather is not the only danger and help will come tomorrow. In addition to environmental adversities, other dangers await the player. For example, if a player leaves clear marks during a scouting expedition, there's a chance that someone may come across them. Then, the threat level of the explored zone increases, arousing more attention from enemy units and scaring of animals. Many of the systems work in two ways. For example, a powerful blizzard can freeze the character and destroy the campsite constructions, but it also allows the player to light a larger fire and it covers up the tracks of the previous expeditions. What's more, during such a weather, the enemies are less likely to venture in search of our camp. Food and clean water are key resources to survive even a few days and help will come tomorrow. Siberia is not a friendly place, so at the beginning of the game, you have to accept everything that Taiga offers, and then it only gets worse. A river is also a good place to find some food, because that's where the players will be able to get some fish. Over time, the heroes will be able to build simple traps, which will allow them to capture small animals like rabbits, birds or squirrels. A workshop is also an important element of the camp, since that's where the player can make hunting weapons. A good weapon can mean food for all the campers, and food is the key to survival. In Help Will Come Tomorrow, the player will come across a large number of Siberian game, which they may hunt. Hunts may differ, depending on the items available, character traits, as well as the choices of the player. Scouting the area around the camp is one of the most important parts of survival. Resources are limited and scattered across the map. The player will have to explore all nooks and crannies to discover what the area has to offer. During a playthrough, a number of events awaits the player. They can be both positive and negative. A construction may fall apart. Someone might stealthily eat the supplies. Or maybe someone's morale drops to zero, making the hero decide to desert the camp and leave the companions. Anything can happen. Help Will Come Tomorrow is true born survival game. It won't be easy and pleasant but sure, it will be interesting.